so new research from Guidewire reveals some interesting sentiment among general insurance customers in the UK about a third say they believe that insurers sell overpriced products and are reluctant to pay out claims. But those same respondents, of those same respondents, 62% say they can see the value in usage-based insurance. Is this skepticism consistent with what you're seeing in other markets? And is usage-based insurance a way to improve the perceived value of the product? I think it's very consistent, Abby. It's consistent with what we're seeing in surveys, and it is uh, consistent with surveys we're seeing with a global audience, right? I think um, really three distinct elements that's, that that are highlighted in that very dangerous statement that, you know, it's an overpriced product that they don't see the value of, right? I think first and foremost is this notion that insurance has always struggled to define itself with purpose, right? Because for a customer, you buy insurance and in the best of all cases, you don't use it for the year. Nobody wants to have a claim. Nobody wants to have a, a bad event occur. So there's just the default, um, you know, a little bit of a perception battle that the insurance industry has on its hands where if you buy it and don't use it, the best case outcome, it's unsatisfying. Uh, if you do buy it and have a claim, then you raise the issue of will the customer be satisfied with how that claim actually played out? And of course, you're beginning with a fairly fraught situation. So I think there's a sort of a purpose and branding issue that the industry at large has struggled with for a long time. I think we are seeing an elevation with the customer's unwillingness to pay or lack of perceived value um, as it relates to the nature of the service and the product. Uh, this is what we've we've talked about in the past, this notion of reimagining the product to a place where it isn't just a it's broken fix it model or an indemnification model, moving much more into help me manage risk, help me mitigate risk, uh, help me take care of my family, my, take care of my new drivers. It's that shift that customers have have expressed a desire to see, a change, not just that insurance uh, isn't worth it, but insurance as it's offered today isn't worth it. And usage is a great example of what is the shift they're looking for, right? Link it to my behavior, link it to my usage. And we do differentiate that usage or pure volume calculation versus the behavior. How you drive, do you tend to brake hard and, and accelerate, you know, above the national speed limits, etc. So um, I think in short, very, very consistent response from customers. Um, very consistent from the UK to other markets. Insurers do need to define that better purpose behind what their product and service is. We do need to shift the nature of the products and services to be more about uh, risk mitigation than indemnification. And usage and behavior-based products are absolutely something that, uh, that the customer base is demanding.